Hi guys and welcome back to Beauty Within. It's your two favorite hosts, Rowena and Felicia. And guys, it has reached almost the end of 2020 and we thought why not make a roundup of the best of 2020. We selected 10 products each, so it is 20. Yes. <laughs> Under $25. Boom. And it's nice to know that now because of innovation, because there's so many brands, what it does is open the market up to allowing products that are really great but affordable. Yeah. And some of these are my absolute favorites. Like regardless of price, everyday dependable products. So we're so excited to share these with you. And in saying that, we are doing a second follow-up video which will come out on Saturday, which is our over $25 product choices. And I don't think we should waste any more time. Let's just jump straight into it. Rue, take it away with any that you want to start with. <laughs> Let's start with Sweet Chef's Oat Milk Latte Cleanser. Sweet Chef is the little sister of Glow Recipe, if you guys didn't know. And when we're curating products and picking out our best under 25, I was looking around my bathroom mm -hmm. and this is actually the cleanser that I have in the shower. So I don't really think of it when we're you know, doing other videos, but when I saw this, I was like, I actually use this every single time I shower. And it's been like that for this whole year. Mm. So this is a little friend that I've been keeping away from you guys, not on purpose, but today is the day that we talk about this super soothing <laughs> gentle gel to foam cleanser that also helps remove makeup. I think like the oat in there, the oat as an ingredient, we already know it's like so soothing, great for inflammation. There's also vitamin B12, which can help boost metabolism in skin cells and encourage skin regeneration. The consistency of this is like a gel oil. It really does dissolve. Yeah. The only thing I have against this one is two minor things. I thought because the name had latte, I expected it for some reason to smell a little bit like coffee because there's also coffee seed extract in there it. There is, yeah. yeah. And the second thing is I think I used it as a cleansing balm and around the eye, it did sting a little. Ooh. Yeah, so I wouldn't use it as a makeup remover yeah. because of that reason, but as a second step for whatever skin type, I think it works mm -hmm. wonders for it. And if you guys are wondering what's the difference between Glow Recipe and Sweet Chef, I think we asked this in one of the interviews. Glow Recipe uses fruits. Yes. And Sweet Chef, there's like vegetables. There's ginger, there's a ginger yeah. spray, there's the vitamin A beet. There's like a lot kale. of different kale mm -hmm. vegetables. So that's a fun little cleanser. What has been the standout product of 2020 fell under 25? Stand up. Do you guys know I've been talking to death about this? This is the Wonder Haru Haru Black Rice Hyaluronic Acid Toner. <laughs> What a mouthful. It is. And this was not only game changing in the way that it revolutionized my skin, but it also got me really excited to know more about fermentation and got me excited about hyaluronic acid because prior to this, hyaluronic acid was kind of a boring ingredient to me. <laughs> All it did was like hydration, but there's like plenty other ingredients that give you hydration, right? Meanwhile, Rose like, yeah. Hyaluronic acid is my best friend. Because it's always a supplementary. Yeah. So this line has the fermented black rice and they have a technology called Ultra Deep Technology, which almost encapsulates the black rice as well as Panix Ginseng into a form that travels through your skin to get into the layers that really help with hyperpigmentation, help with evening skin tones and textures. And I think from my prior acne skin to the clearer skin, this was at the tipping point. Mm. It, it was like, and you're clear now. <laughs> oh. Yeah, which is why I fell so in love with it. And it falls into the 20, $2 category under 25 because there's a smaller version. This is the bigger version. Mm -hmm. So if you find that you really do enjoy it or you really trust me, you can go <laughs> ahead and get the bigger one because I've used this for the majority of the year and I'm still not done. It's beautiful. It's like not a completely watery consistency, but it's not like a serum. It's that kind of like a little Viscacy, bit thicker. Viscacy, yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's even great for dry dehydrated skin types like me. Because you used it. Yeah, we did in our skincare swap. I used this for a week and it was beautiful. So good. Okay, so that's that one. We're going to play tennis, throwing it back to each other. No rhyme or reason. Let's do the Round Lab 1025 Toto Toner. Toto. 
the dude da, when da, you da, gave da. me the little sampler version of this i didn't know what to do with it i'm like is it a cleansing water You're like what do you say because it's all in korean yeah. this is a toner that i also kind of use as a toning water so in the morning if my skin isn't too dirty if it's not too greasy then this is perfect mm. and it also saves time it does yeah. and it's very calming actually yeah. to sit there and just slowly wipe away yeah. grime <laughs> yeah it's kind of like when you vacuuming you make sure you vacuum every strip it's like okay did i okay now it's every good and then here it's like okay yeah true and then you look at the cotton pad and it's like a little bit dirty yeah, it's like it's a little bit yellow you're like Ooh, you're doing your job yeah. so in this toner there's glycerin there's sugarcane extract which has a humectant like property it's also anti-inflammatory there's also sea water which we know like the deep sea water creams of purito mm. the best of 2019 yeah. i was so sad i couldn't include in this one because we included it in the previous one but deep sea water is known to be rich in minerals and it helps to hydrate the skin repair the skin barrier and the the deep sea water molecular combination is very similar to our skin, so mm. it just... Yes, it works beautifully. So ding, ding, <laughs> back to you. Now moving on to another love of life. It was also in that period where I was really like at a turning point in the skin. You've probably heard me mention this one as well, but it's the Dr. Surical Royal Vita Propolis 33 Ampoule. And an ampoule, ampoule, Ampoule. 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 It's kind of like a supercharged serum. This is really nourishing. It's really restorative and lightweight and very subtly brightening with the key ingredient being propolis. So there's propolis extract as well as royal jelly, which helps to reduce skin damage, redness, irritation, hyperpigmentation. It's anti-inflammatory. It's antibacterial. <laughs> and so all of these are words that I naturally gravitate towards, especially if you have acne prone skin, especially if you're sensitive or facing any sort of discomfort. And then there's also sea buckthorn extract, which is rich in omega fatty acids to really build that skin barrier. You really wanna make sure that's tight, it's locked in so you don't experience things like water evaporation so that externally bacteria can't come in and compromise it. These two just worked together in a way that was so magical for me that I've gotten down to the like itty bit of it and I can't stand to be without it. I'll have to buy another one. Yeah, then. Another propolis. This is Cosrx Propolis Light Ampoule. So I believe this got repackaged to the full fit propolis light ampoule and then the cap has like a little honeycomb mm. wand thing that you dip into yeah. honey and like swirl into your drinks. So in here, there's 83% black the propolis extract, which is a natural antibacterial and anti-inflammatory ingredient, as Fel mentioned. And this, I think, would be the first product with propolis that got me into this world of honey. honeybees. Yeah, <laughs> because now there's Ionic that we love, there's yeah. this that you love, and there's so many products and greens, like the I'm From, the whole I'm From line. The best gift of mother nature. Yes, when I was using this consistently earlier this year, it really helped give you that healthy dewy glow. Mm. Again, it's like on any of these products that you mentioned, right? it's not an instant glow or like an instant shine that you'll get from a chemical exfoliant, but with prolonged use, it just gave you that very subtle, supple. You can tell before applying your products and after it is visibly bright. Yeah. yeah. Wait, I want you to feel the texture of this. Brick. Oh! Oh, this is nice. And you know, Cosrx does really great, simple, affordable products. Love it. Glowing skin, back to you. <laughs> okay, so I'll talk about something that we also used in the swap that I really mm. love. It's the Ordinary Gran Active Retinoid 2% in Squalane. There's a few retinol products that I think are really great, including the Naturium Retinol Moisturizer. But for beginners, Gran Active, first of all, is a really stable form of retinol. And the fact that it's formulated in Squalane oil already creates a buffer that makes it very easy to use yeah. and the skin to tolerate yeah. without any sort of irritation. So give us a I snippet. Agree. <laughs> so I wish I filmed this. I was freaking out before putting this on my face, but as soon as I put it on, I was like, oh, it's actually not that bad. No stinging, nothing's happening. Mm. And the next day, the key is the next day, <laughs> I woke up 
with my face looking like the moon, like as bright and shiny, like a full moon. Mm. Like the moon emoji. <laughs> it like works the same for dry dehydrated skin and oily skin because I use this for when I need nourishment, replenishment, and I wanna even out my skin tone because that is what vitamin A does. It helps with brightening, it helps with clearing the skin, it helps minimize your pores. It's probably one of the most potent, effective ingredients out there, but when it's in here, you don't even have to think about it being kind of reactionary, reactory. I don't know what the word is. Aggravating. Aggravating. Irritating. <laughs> Irritating. Yes. Because squalane is great. Squalane is naturally found in our sebum. It creates that buffer for your skin. And for first time users of retinol, this is great. So Rue is going to explore more of the retinol for 2021, I foresee. <laughs> Since we're talking about potent actives, I want to talk about the serum that helped lighten my sunspots, mm. my freckling. Mm. And it is Naturium's Mandelic Topical Acid 12% with niacinamide and natural fruit acids. I think maybe because these days I've been focusing a lot more on hydration and building up my skin berry and because the foundation is healthy, it might just be that this one got lucky at like such a great time. And it's also a bit higher in percentage that like mm. you just work so flawlessly. A little bit about Mandelic acids, they're derived from bitter almonds and it's one of the most gentle AHAs. So it's good for people who may be sensitive or who had irritation previously when mm. they've used other chemical exfoliants. And with Mandelic acid, it's also something to note that the high percentage, it's not like the same as a glycolic 12% because the Dr. Wu was also 18%. Mm. The same with this, it's very lightweight, but it does a lot to the yeah. skin without much work at yeah. all. And the texture of this, ah, watery. And it just, yeah. skin just, and it smells very naturium. Oh, you, you smell that? And that's the smell. Guys, a few days ago, Fel's like, oh my God, I love the taste of AHAs. I was like, excuse uh -huh. me? Wait, what'd you say? She's like, oh yeah, I love the taste of AHAs. And I look over, she's like. It's interesting. It's sour. It's like citrus. I'm like, what? <laughs> it's very interesting. Haven't you ever accidentally got it on your lip? No. <laughs> and it's like, hmm. It has a zing. <laughs> like a floral battery pack. So that's another thing. I used to do that. You never did that. <laughs> yeah. Did you guys never lick the battery, like the, the square battery packs when you're little? Nope. <laughs> my cousin's out here, she's like, hey, you do it, <laughs> you do it. Oh my goodness. I guess following on from your Naturium, I also have a Naturium, and if you guys <laughs> and I didn't realize already, I really love the Vitamin C Super Serum Plus for the fact that it has all my favorite ingredients formulated in one, so it takes all the guesswork <laughs> out of layering active ingredients. It includes Vitamin C, it's got Retinol, Hyaluronic Acid, Niacinamide, Salicylic Acid. While saying all of this, I would say if you are going to use it, make sure you know your skin works well with these ingredients, otherwise, it's very hard to tell what is going wrong, right? For my kind of problematic, oily skin, I would use this when I'm starting to feel like things are coming to the surface, maybe for blackheads, whiteheads, and hormonal acne. This one compared to yours mm -hmm. is stickier. Yeah. And it's also kind of milky. Milky and yellowy in consistency. But when you work it into the skin, it's like pretty nice. And one thing to note is the retinol they have is micro encapsulated, which means less irritation on the skin. So yeah, clarifying, plumping, evening. It really is a super serum and affordable. Nice. Yeah. Throwing it back to you, Rue. Point. Since we've done a lot of chemical exfoliating, let's go with the very hydrating toner. So this is Benton's Deep Green Tea Toner. Green tea is an ingredient we've gone on and on and on about, mostly for the Amora Pacific Vintage Essence, mm. for me personally. But I think this is a great entry level green tea and you can work your way up to the $95. But for now, I think this does wonders and it's a fraction of the price. Yeah. And this is one of those toners that's super water. You can layer on the whole bottle onto your face in one sitting if you want. Not yeah. that we recommend doing that, but you could yeah. if you really want to do because it's that watery. So in here, there's 50% green tea leaf water. There's also green tea tea seed extract, as well as green tea leaf extract. There's also Centella Asiatica. There's Hortunia Cordata <laughs> extract, <laughs> which both Centella and, well, actually all three, right? Green yeah. tea, Centella, and 
Hortunio Cortata are very <laughs> Hakunia Mutata. <laughs> They're all very soothing, calming ingredients. Yeah. So this is just. It has it all, really. It does. Mm. And we've also talked about how green tea is really great for sebum with yeah. the catechins and the tannins in there to help prevent your sebum from going crazy and overworking itself. Yeah, where the sebaceous glands are like, I'm, 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 I'm pumping out oil. <laughs> it's like, whoa, horsey. You good. <laughs> yeah. We good, you good. So for $14, Wows. Bang for your buck. Mm -hmm. So on the wavelength of soothing calming toners, I also have one. This is the Ultra Repair Wild Oat Hydrating Toner. This is probably my favorite product of the line that contains oat because it's a milky toner. Yeah, no other toner has this kind of lightweight, watery consistency that's like cloudy, right? And I would have included this if you didn't include it. So it's good. Uh, let's mishmash this so let's I can- Let's do it. <laughs> So it has oat-derived ingredients, but it's also got the propolis extract as well as honey and hyaluronic acid. When I think of what is one ingredient that can really take away any irritating feeling, if I have a rash, if I have any dermatitis, if I have anything, it's oat because it's a traditional ingredient that's been around for years, you know, like oat bars. Yeah. You and your eczema. Yes. Uh, it is seriously magic. And I don't think you will even realize how wonderful it is until you go through hell and back with your skin. Yeah. Where it's like sometimes it's just really itchy, it's all bumpy. For whatever reason, you just need to soak yourself in something mm. like this. Yeah. I think the one oat product that I use the most actually is Aveeno. I've been oh, yeah. using it since I was five, so yeah. like nothing can really compare. But this comes very close. Yeah. There's also a gel moisturizer of this, which Ooh. I really like. Ooh. So if you're not into oat, get with it. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Okay. Back to you. Bing. <laughs> Makeup remover. Mm. So although this isn't like skincare skincare, I still think this is like a pretty it important is. step. Mm. If I didn't have this makeup remover for the past three years, my skin around my eyes would be like, <laughs> this is just so amazing. Especially if you are like, let's say right now, I'm wearing fake eyelashes, right? If there's a little bit of the glue, yeah. sometimes I find that oil doesn't really take that off. So mm -hmm. I need to go back afterwards anyway with like a Q-tip to like kind of work mm -hmm. it out. But something like this just takes it all off. Yeah. Takes it all off. The most stubborn, the most waterproof, the most like, Bing! Eyelashes mm. that you put on, this will take it off. But somehow is so nourishing. It's so gentle. Yeah. There's aloe, there's green tea, which I think is what helps give you that very hydrating and nourishing feel that mm -hmm. isn't stripping at all. And because it is dual face, just make sure you shake a shake a, and then you good to go. Agreed. That one is awesome. All right, staying on the cleansing wagon, I have two kind of cleansing products. First is the Vest. This is the Day Dissolve Cleansing Balm. I love this so much. It just works like a dream. Some people might be put off by the fact that it has eucalyptus oil because it's a personal thing, you know, like the smell of it. It does definitely smell like Spa. Oil. Yeah. It's just so effective. And when you put it onto your skin, it dissolves to a beautiful oil and it breaks down everything without even needing to really do much at all. It's so soft and almost like a whipped balm. And when I work it in around my eye area to break down waterproof makeup, it doesn't sting. If I really wanted to, I could just do it with my eyes open. <laughs> because one of the deciding factors with cleansing balms, and if I'm gonna use it, is if it stings my eyeball, I'm out. I'm Bye. out of there. Bye. Bye, Felicia. Seriously. Bye, Felicia. <laughs> bye, Felicia yourself. Yeah, the cleansing balm's like, okay, bye, Felicia. Okay, bye. So this is step one of your double cleansing. And then just step two, you want to find a cleanser that you really enjoy. And for me, that's the Sioris Day by Day Cleansing Gel. So just a little teaser. Rue enjoys the cleansing milk that she'll be talking about in the next video because it exceeds $25. This one falls under. It's kind of like that goopy essency gel mm. that is really satisfying for just removing the day's impurities without stripping the skin too much. And then after the shower, like you just feel supple and that's all you need. So in here, there's actually 56% of pomelo extract, which is subtly brightening. 
<laughs> I love grapefruit and pomelo is in that kind of family. And on top of that, it's also got 5% of Hortunia cordata, which helps to not only calm inflamed skin, but subtly help with sebum production and soothing. And I think one of the reasons why I like this one over the milk cleanser is that it's also got a little bit of willow bark. Mm. And for oily, kind of acne prone skin, willow bark's really great because it's similar to BHA, but it's not that potent. So everything about this is just very dependable, enjoyable, without being like loud about it. And that's what I think, I think Cioris. that's Cioris. <laughs> yeah, that's like Cioris in a nutshell. Yeah. Back to you. Something that I've been holding off from you guys. <laughs> For me, because I'm like a lot more efficient to think of like, I need to make time to sheet mask. Mm. It just doesn't really cross my mind to do it. But this year, because we had a lot more time, it's like, at home. why not? Yeah. So two that I want to talk about, one that we've mentioned previously is Neogen's Probiotic Relief mask. I love the serum. I love the moisturizer. I just love the whole probiotic line. So this is great. And there's also Dr. Jart's Vital Hydra Solution. So starting with Neogen's Probiotic Relief Mask, there's a 10 berry complex, which I think gives it that very like sweet grape scent yes! that I really love. It's great. It's like cotton candy grapes. It I is. love it. And there's also probiotics, of course, which we know our skin. There's a colony of microorganisms on there and probiotics help balance balance all of the colonies on your face to feed the good bacteria, to make sure it's happy. And if it's happy and healthy, then your skin is happy and healthy. There's also hyaluronic and niacin white in here. And I love this because it's, you know how sometimes sheet masks can get a bit sticky mm. if there's like a bunch of these different ingredients yeah. in there, but this is not like that at all. It has like a very beautiful watery, it's more of like a watery essence. My skin is glowing mm. right after I use this, as well as the serum and the moisturizer that we've mentioned in the past. Yeah. So the Dr. Jart's this Vita Hydra Solution, this is just a very hydrating sheet mask. So in here there's Aquasil, which helps refill your skin's water reserves, making it, it's like our grape analogy, mm -hmm. plumping up the raisin, right? <laughs> and then it also has algae extract, which helps retain hydration. There's Panthenol, which rebuilds the skin barrier. And there's also hyaluronic acid. This one is just so hydrating that you become glowy afterwards. Yeah, like it's not as Yeah, it's not as dewy glowy as this. When your skin is plump and happy and all your cells are like, Wee! <laughs> yeah. You are like, party. <laughs> you can see it truly, guys. And I think if you're feeling super dehydrated, a mask is where you will get yes. all of it. It's like injecting yes. hydration. So how I would use both of these, I would still tone right before, mm -hmm. and the sheet mask would take the place of an essence and a serum, mm -hmm. and then moisturize afterwards. Mm -hmm. And you could use this in the morning if you want, yeah. if you have time, <laughs> or even before you apply makeup. Yes. And then a trick that we both do sometimes is you mix the remaining essence with your foundation or with your BB cream to make it just like my skin but better. Mm -hmm. And then of course you can use this at night or just whenever you're trying to wind down. Yeah. I'm gonna go into a serum in the name of brightening <laughs> because this is probably one of my favorite vitamin C products that Rosa kindly brought back from Japan when she went and it took me a long while to actually break it open. So what you'll find is this almost aluminum tube which helps with keeping the vitamin C stable, because as we know, heat, light, whatever it is, will like affect this poor vitamin C. It's like so fragile. <laughs> and this is very different to any vitamin C serum I've ever used because one, it's a light oil and it comes out in teeny tiny little droplets. Three or four drops over the forehead, nose, cheeks is all you really need. I liked concentrating it on the chin because that was where I used to battle a lot of acne marks. And I remember the first time I used this, the next day I was like glowing. Don't have to say any more about that. And then that's what <laughs> got me very intrigued. Ah. So this I believe has ascorbic acid. We couldn't find the percentage of it, but it works together with vitamin E because as we know, vitamin C, vitamin E, ferulic acid, they all work together really well with a sunscreen. So it's probably the most protective shield you can get for a daytime routine. So I definitely recommend using vitamin Cs in the morning. Just make sure you pair it with a sunscreen. Not to say that you can't use it in your evening because as I said the first time, I woke up ravishing. <laughs> if I do say so myself. <laughs> no, it was just that like the hyperpigmentation had like visibly brightened. And I think it might be a little confusing for people because the whole box had no English on it, you know? And it was like- You have to look up like a blog yeah. to see how to use it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I still can't believe you're gonna cut that. <laughs> I know, I was gonna cut the nib off because I was like, 
Why is this thing coming out so slowly? But it's portion controlling <laughs> for you guys. And look, it sits beautifully Ooh. on the skin. It's so light, it just sinks in. Mm. It's marvelous. Marvelous. And super affordable. So if you're looking to even out your skin tone, if you want a affordable vitamin C to test out that doesn't cause irritation, I would highly recommend that one. Ding. Yeah, and then, Eye cream. Eye cream. Eye cream. Oh. So this is Pirido Centella Green Level Eye Cream. It's one of the more lighter weight eye creams. It applies really nicely, absorbs nicely into your skin. And sometimes before going to sleep, if I feel like the smile lines are coming out and it's extra pronounced, if I go to sleep with this on the next morning, it's just a bit more plump. Mm. So it's not as noticeable. Yeah. This one's great for hydration. Yes. And these days I reach for this a lot more compared to let's say like the fresh black tea cream, mm. eye cream, because that I feel like it's a bit too thick. Mm. I don't know, it's coming out of my mouth. That's weird. <laughs> <laughs> but like it's a bit too thick. Mm. And I think because it is a bit thicker, it gave me some milia here and there. Mm -hmm. There's like a really big one here that I'm like, Go away, but it's okay. Mm. So this is a lot more lightweight and there's 49% Centella Asiatica extract. There's also a plethora of Centella Asiatica. The whole fam. Yeah. Fam's all here. There's Asiatic Asiatic Acid, Matacasic Acid. <laughs> Literally fam. It won't be the best for like wrinkle prevention, but it does have slightly firming and like plumping effects. Yeah. Yeah. The reason why we don't really talk much about it is because it's not an essential, it's not a staple. We already kind of nourish our eyes with the moisturizers we use for the most part, but sometimes you just feel like an yeah. eye cream. And this is a really affordable option. And if you're wearing makeup, concealer, if you want to conceal dark eye bags, you definitely want to hydrate the under eye because makeup will not sit right on flaky dehydrated under eyes. It'll just accentuate it. <laughs> yeah. So I have a moisturizer and a sunscreen. Yep. Great. Let's start with the CeraVe. This is the facial moisturizing lotion. I chuckle a little because you might think this is the most basic thing ever, <laughs> but I love it to infinity and beyond. A pew pew! Yes, because you know, when we're talking about healthy skin, radiant skin, clear skin, all we're really talking about is keeping the skin barrier healthy so that your skin as an organ can work for you without applying anything heavy hitting, right? And how do you achieve that? It's with restoring these naturally occurring fatty acids to heal ourselves. And that includes ceramides. So CeraVe, I think maybe the name comes from kind of like ceramides, right? It's formulated with three different types of ceramides as well as niacinamide and hyaluronic acid. And this consistency to me is perfect for oily skin, for combo oily skin, Perfect. CeraVe is just like your trusty friend, kind of like you and Avino. Yeah, you can yeah. never go wrong with it. No fuss, no drama. Same with this. <laughs> the Clinique Moisture Surge Intense 72 Hour Lipid Replenishing Hydrator. It does basically the same thing Dude, for that's... you as it does for me. This is divine. Mm. I am so upset that I've slept on this for that long. This is one of our newer finds, mm. but I would say this just perfectly encapsulate what a moisturizer should be, mm -hmm. especially for people with drier skin types. It even works for you, right? Like, yeah. you like it. I, yeah, I love it. I just use less than you. Yes, I use like four huge or like five huge Globs. Globs on my face and work it in. It feels great and I wake up super hydrated always. And I think we talk about this a lot for drier skin types. My gauge of whether a moisturizer works is the time test. After half a day or after a night's rest, if I wake up and my skin's still like, ah, I'm happy, I'm hydrated. Boing, boing, boing. Yes, then it's like, you did your job. And I think the interesting thing is that it's oil free. Yeah. Wild giving the most. It is very surprising. Even though there's no oil, it's very, very rich. Mm -hmm. But it's not suffocating. It like it's blends. It's silky rich. Yeah, it blends so nicely into your skin and then it just leaves it instantly hydrated, instantly nourished. The first time I used it, I was like, oh my goodness. Yeah. Where have you been all my life? It's so smooth when you apply it. So that is my last product. I yeah. won't mention a sunscreen because the only sunscreen I use all year is gonna be in the over 25 mm -hmm. and but I have a sunscreen and it's under 25 and it's the 11 Village Factory Yellow Tube one. The reason why I love this sunscreen so much and that it's been the only one I've really used all year and somehow lost. 
<laughs> is because it applies on like a moisturizer. It does. Oh my god. Yeah. It's so lightweight. It doesn't give me too much glow. It gives a very natural finish, just enough to either wear on its own or have under makeup. Very satisfying consistency. Not sticky, not too like mattifying. Perfect, right? And it's a hybrid sunscreen, which means it's got chemical and physical UV filters. And then in terms of the ingredients that it's also supported by, this one's got chia seed oil, which helps to rebuild your skin barrier and moisturize. It's also got Centella Asiatica, Cortunia Cotata, much like Centella, very soothing and calming. And it's also got prebiotics. So if we're talking about skin barrier friendly sunscreens, this has got it all, guys. But I think one thing that I truly do enjoy is the smell of it. It does smell very, it's like you're floating through a flower field. It calms me. It's very calming, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, I think that about wraps up our 20 products for 2020. Yes, make sure you guys stay tuned for this Saturday's Over 25. Mm. And before we depart, mm. before we say goodbye, Felicia, <laughs> farewell. <laughs> What is one thing you learned this year? I think we both learned many things this year, and I think all of us have been forced to introspect 50 times more than we normally do, which is great, because I think as even like our generation, we like to just fill our time with things, fill our time with people, and just like, external things, right? So this time, I think one of the biggest themes has been practicing patience. Mm -hmm. I think patience, we think of like, okay, I just have to be like waiting patience, like time yeah. patience, right? But I think it requires such strength to not know what's going to happen in the future and still be happy. Or like positive. And even look forward to things when it seems everything is in disarray when your mind starts traveling and you wanna do this or you're angry with this or you're frustrated with this, and then you can get frustrated at yourself, but then a lot of the times it's not really your fault. It's nobody's fault. It's nobody's fault. Yeah, yeah and it's acceptance. Yeah, I think if you're able to be patient with yourself and like an added layer is like compassion, then you'll be able to project that outwards too and you'll yeah. be able to be that for other people. And create buffers. Yeah. So you don't confront people right off the bat. Yeah. I think that's one thing I've learned a lot over the past few years and mm -hmm. especially this year is that a lot of times we feel we're right or we want to say things right away. But I've realized if I can take a step back, take a breath and revisit this topic that is like burrowing in my mind or that I'm like, I very aggressively want to yell out. If I take a step back, I'm like, mm. they're like, wait, it's actually, it's okay. Mm. I was like, hey, I can actually talk about it in a very, non-aggravated manner. Yeah. So we challenge you guys to think about where you can practice patience, because I think skincare is a lot about patience. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so yeah, share your experiences below. If you have any questions about what we've discussed, leave them also below. And we thank you very much for watching us and being on this journey with us. And there's more to come on Saturday. So we'll see you then. Bye.